Hello again everybody and welcome to another video here on YouTube for Tim's Tech Corner. Today we are going to be going back in time and technology slightly and reviewing a Nook Color. This one is running Android Jelly Bean. Um, this is a paranoid Android ROM. A little bit of nostalgia. This is the first tablet that I ever had. This is actually the very original one that I got a um, few years ago. This is my handy dandy little tablet for several years until I upgraded to the HP touchpad and then went on from there. Uh, this particular touchpad is a little bit of a continental traveler. It accidentally got messed up slightly in the upgrade from Jelly Bean to Ice Cream Sandwich and uh, I shipped it out to a XDA member who knew of the particular error that it was getting and he went ahead and fixed it. So, um, in a little bit of a sad moment, this is going to be the last time I'm going to be dealing with a Nook Color as I'm going to be putting this up on eBay. I'm going to be going ahead and getting rid of it as I simply just really have no use for it anymore. Behind it is a interesting little tablet stand. I'll put a link to this in the description along with a link to the Paranoid Android ROM. This is a stand that you can do this way for more vertical orientation and you can put it on the other side for a more uh, slanted, uh, kind of like a, a very typing oriented one. Uh, there'll probably still be a few of these on eBay. I'll see if I can get you like really good for uh, bigger tablets, piece of uh, solid metal. So here we are. This is a paranoid Android ROM, as you can see from the wallpaper. And this launcher does support orientation switching. And as you can see from the toggles down at the bottom, it's going to be running an Apex launcher. And I'm just going to briefly go through a couple things for it. Um, you can have buttons that will toggle the dock. And if you toggle the dock, you'll get the items down there. I usually like to keep the dock off as it's not a phone, so there's uh, no need for it. Also, you have another toggle for toggle notifications, which will put the, uh, you know, the battery and the time up top. I have a quick link for settings, and I have a quick link to the app drawer. As you can see, it comes with standard Apollo. I have Aptoid loaded. Astro is the file manager. Bot Brew for the Nook Color. Black Market Alpha. Chain Fire handling the Open GL for it. Dolphin Browser. Clock Download. Drive. There's the Audio Manager for DSP. Email. A built in file manager. Gallery Google. GUIM for getting updates to the ROM. Movie Studio, no frill CPU control, which is controlling the overclocking. We'll come back to that. Nook Tweaks, some Nova Launcher items, Play Store ROM Manager settings. And over here we have both Super Soon, Super User, Wi Fi File Explorer. Rust is pretty standard. Now, if you take a look, actually, I take it back, it's not um, Apex, it's Nova. If you want to look at what the standard launcher will look like, as you can see, pretty much the, the same thing. And uh, we'll go over here and look at the CPU control, which is just a widget. And it's running at about 600 right now. And we'll go ahead and show you the overclocking on it as soon as I get back to Nova. And one thing that is pretty decent about these no colors is they overclock fairly well. So the minimum is set for 300. You want to set a reasonable medium if you're not that concerned about battery life. Basically, you want it between 3 and 600. Um, most things tend to perform a little bit better that way. I've always kept mine at 1.1, uh, 1 .1. however, 
uh, usually you can come up to about 1.2 or even 1.4 on these. However, this one's only showing 1.1 is the highest, but that's a um, that's a solid overclock for these devices. Now, what's different about this particular ROM is Paranoid Android likes to come with its own settings. So here you see standard settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, lock screen options over here, screen security, background, uh, see-through. That's a little bit different. This is the first time I've seen that. See-through, which is allows you to see the activity behind the lock screen. A custom image will disable this preference. Clock alignment, battery status, owner info, the weather, the calendar, slider shortcuts. Got some system options over here. You have theming, which you see in CM9 and CM10. And here we go. Here is the Paranoid settings. Now, these are specific to Paranoid Android ROMs. So you can set a couple things like the launch. And basically you can set it to the stock colors. You can set it to phablet, which is a hybrid UI, phone or tablet. Interface, you get some options for phablet mode, like the pixel resolution, system app size, user app size, all those kinds of options. If you go to apps, Pretty sure it's just going to be an application manager. Yeah, it's, it's basically application management. Help, you can turn help mode on for a couple things. Tools, you can reset your preferences and you can also back them up and restore them. And if you go to about, it tells you about the paranoid Android team. So that's what is a little bit different in this particular ROM is that it has its own dedicated section for the settings and that will walk you through some things that are specific to the ROM. And then you have the standard sound, display, storage battery apps, profiles, location access, which means nothing because this does not have a GPS, it's an e-reader. And uh, you can go to performance, and you'll be able to change some speeds over here. So you see, matches what we saw before. The minimum is 300. The max is 11. You can set it on boot. And if you go to about tablet, you can see it is Android 4.1.2. Current version is 3.0.8 from Eyeballer. Big guy in the no color community. Cyanogen Mod 10. November 19th, unofficial. Paranoid Android version is 2.55, and the bill number is JZO 54K, and a bill date November 19th. So there you go. There is a Nook Calder running Paranoid Android. This is a Jelly Bean ROM. I do find it kind of amazing on some of the devices that get Jelly Bean ROMs these days compared to some of the ones that you'd expect it on. For example... There is a Jelly Bean ROM out for the Droid Eris, my original phone that I had, original smartphone, yet it's very tough to find a Jelly Bean ROM for a Thunderbolt or even an ice cream sandwich. So I just, I find that weird how the community goes with it. And uh, I think it's interesting that you would see a Jelly Bean ROM for the Nook Color. And there are still some more important tablets or more um, active tablets out there that still have yet to have it. So there you go. Here's a Nook Color running Paranoid Android. And it's going to be the last I'm seeing of it. This particular Nook Color is a little interesting. It's, it's got a, some protection stickers on the side and the back that give it a little bit of a grip. So it's, it's almost like a uh, the, one of those Kevlar patterns you see on some of the newer ones. And uh, back here, there's the Nook N, and you can hear. It's got some texture to it. 
and there's the FD slot at the bottom and there's the speaker uh, up top you have the headphone jack and of course you've got the hardware nook N over there and you've got the power button on this side and opposite will be the volume buttons so there's a nook color running the most recent version of the Android operating system and uh, this one's going to be going for sale on eBay there's one of the paranoid Android wallpapers over there kind of neat they have several others and we'll go ahead and take a look at some of those here kind of reminds me of Sgt. Pepper's here are some of the paranoid Android wallpapers very distinct art style to them now to see the performance of a Nook Color running jelly bean which I do think it, it performs a um, it outperforms ice cream sandwich we'll go to a live wallpaper and we'll take a look at the microbes one So you can see, this one's actually not going too good. That's a little choppy. Let's see if we can back it up and find... Black Hole usually runs pretty well. Yeah, so there's Black Hole. It's running pretty solid. It's actually running a little bit better than when I used to have this tablet running ice cream sandwich it's pretty smooth there's not too many there's not any hitching going on over there so it looks good and there we go there's paranoid Android running on a nook color it's going to be the last time I'm going to do a nook color video and pretty soon I'm gonna be going ahead and proceeding with the Galaxy Tab 2 video that I had talked about my Nexus 7 one and I'll also be doing one on a Toshiba Excite which is the tablet I'm using to record this particular video um, definitely my favorite 10 inch tablet at this point in time and here is my Asus TF101 transformer pad so this is Tim signing off from Tim's Tech Corner keep a watch on the channel for some future videos coming out on some different tablets and as we bid a fun farewell to my last Nook Color my original tablet take care everybody hope you enjoyed the video